Right, okay, we're looking at solving a trigonometric equation, and in this one, uh, we have 3 cot squared plus 8 cosec x plus 1 is 0, and we're solving between 0 and 360. So, one of these questions has quite a few steps to it, and first of all, we want to uh, use one of the trig identities that we have learnt to be able to get this into what I would call a hidden quadratic. We have a squared term and a uh, single variable term here, cosec x, so I would assume that this is going to become a quadratic equation. So we need uh, the equation that involves cot squared. This is the one that I want to uh, look for. Okay, so um, cot squared comes from, if you look at sine squared plus cos squared is 1, cot squared comes from dividing through by sine squared, so that's 1 plus cot squared is cosec squared, so cot squared is cosec squared minus 1, and we can make that replacement. So we have three lots of cosec squared x minus 1 plus 8 cosec x plus 1 is 0. If I multiply out that bracket, we have 3 cosec squared minus 3 plus 8 cosec plus 1 is 0. So we have 3 cosec squared plus 8 cosec minus 2 is 0. Okay, so we now have a quadratic equation just in cosec. This should probably be, probably now be something that I can factorize. Um, 9 times out of 10 in the exam, this will be one that you can factorize. Um, there have, on occasion, however, been ones which you cannot, and you had to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so I'm going to try and factorise this. I haven't checked to see if it does, so bear with me. Uh, so we've got 3 cosec, and we're going to have cosec over here is equal to 0. Um, so we're going to have to have... Um, ooh, to get plus 8, that could be a problem. So I don't think this factorizes. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So cosec x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared, which is 64, take away 4 times 3 times minus 2, okay, so that's uh, minus 24, so that's going to be plus 24, all over 2a, so 6, okay, so we have minus 8 plus or minus uh, 88, square root of 88, all over 6, okay, Um, just checking to make sure we're all right on that. Don't want to make any silly errors. Uh, 3, 8, and minus 2. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, 88, root 88 is 2 root 22. So this is minus 4 plus or minus root 22 over 3. Okay, so we either have <coughs> cosec x equals minus 4 plus root 22 over 3, or we have cosec x is equal to minus 4 minus root 22 over 3. So sine x, because cosec is 1 over sine, Sine must be 
3 over minus 4 plus root 22, or sine x is, min is 3 over minus 4, take away root 22. Okay, so looking at the sine curve, between 0 and 360. Okay. Now I would assume that one of these is positive and one of them is negative. Um, minus 4 plus root 22. Okay, it's 4.34. Um, okay. And this one is <coughs> uh, minus 4 minus root 22. Okay, so this one actually gives us something that is greater than 1. So there are no solutions. Okay, so plugging that into your calculator, you should get something like four point something, which means that you know four point something is up here, and it doesn't cross the sine curve. This, however, is um, like minus zero point three four five. So we will be getting two solutions from this. Okay, so we're going to have to do inverse sine of that, this uh, 3 over minus 4 take away root 22. Oh, and look, lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, I am in radians, so I need to change it into degrees. So inverse sine of, let's have another go, minus uh, 3 over minus 4 take away root 22 is equal to Right, minus 20.19448604, okay? So that's given us solution down here. So if I um, do 180 take away that answer, this will get me this solution, which is 200.2 degrees to one decimal place. And now, if I do um, 360 plus inverse sine of the 3 over um, minus 4, take away root 22, then that's 339.8 degrees. Okay? So here is a not-so-friendly example Okay, but you've seen all the techniques that are employed. Um, it started off, if we remember, it started off with, first of all, replacing cot squared with cosec squared minus 1. So we substituted that into the equation and then rearranged it to get down to this equation here, which is a quadratic in cosec. Now, then I tried to factorise it, but I couldn't factorise it. It didn't work. So I went, fell back on using the quadratic formula, like so. And I got down to this. Now, that meant that cosec was either the plus or the negative of those. Now, if you get cosec is equal to something, then sine is equal to that, what is equal to 1 over that. So that flips the fraction upside down. Now in this case, this gives you something that is greater than 1. Okay, so that there are no solutions in solving this equation. However, this gave us something that was less than uh, 1 uh, and greater than minus 1, which is about 0 0.3 something. Okay, minus 0.3 something. And then using inverse sine, we can get the minus 20.19448604, which gave us this point, 
We don't want that point though, because we want between zero and 360. So we've got to add 360 to get that one, and then take it away from 180 to get that one. And then you're done. Okay, so that's a more long-winded example um, of solving a trig equation, and you can see how involved it can get.